so here's this set of set of stairs we got to set up. They got the frost walls all in. You can remember we showed you the footings there before they poured the footing. So now they got the, the frost wall set on top of the footing. We got some piers here. That's where we're going to form up the set of stairs. So we'll walk upstairs here onto a onto like a patio or platform, and then they can walk into the building. Then over here is where the wheelchair ramp is. So we'll form up on both sides of this and pour a wheelchair ramp. That's 26 feet. So we'll pitch that an inch per foot to make that to code. But first thing we got to do is get everything formed up and get a big mat of rebar in this thing. Right now they're still filling it up with gravel. They got to compact that, get it ready for us. And then we'll get over here and form it up. Hey everybody, so we're over here. We're going to form these stairs up. We got a, we got a top landing there. We got a set of stairs and we got a wheelchair ramp. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start with the forming and I'm going to tap con some 2 by 10s right here around the perimeter. Especially, I'm going to start with this top piece and that will establish my height for me. And then I can work on putting the, the stairs down here. i got a little bit of room to play with down here on the parking lot. So the place to start is up top. Get that first landing, that big landing done so my height is established there. We're going to slope it just a little bit away from the building and then that'll also establish my grade to the top of the ramp and then I can get the ramp all formed up. But to start with, I'm going to tap con, get, get my grade set and then tap con some 2 by 10s around here right, and we'll set them right to grade to make it easy to straight edge and finish. Hey everybody, so we got this uh, wheelchair ramp, landing and uh, concrete stairs done today. Broom finish. I got all the forming, the rebar, the styrofoam, the pouring, and the finishing to show you guys, so stay tuned for that. So we're still in this patio landing area and concrete stairs. We got a we got a wheelchair ramp too. We're sealing it with a Tomahawk backpack sprayer battery uh, power. We're sealing it with Tomahawk's powered backpack sprayer using last to seal concrete sealer from Radon Seal. Last to seal sealer is going to soak down in. It's a penetrating sealer. It's going to soak down in, block all the pores, protect it from freeze and thaw, protect it from salt damage. Hey guys, just finished up this concrete slab, 16 by 11 by 8 inches thick, had a mat of rebar in it. So stay tuned, we're going to show you how we do this. All right, guys, so this is the finished product. They uh, they really decked this out and made it look nice. They put a nice louvered, louvered uh, roof over this so they can close it when it rains and open it when it's nice out. They got it fenced off. They got all the chairs and seats in here. And this is the finished floor here. They got it all washed down. You can see how it steps up of the two different levels. It goes right up into actually a third level that we stamped. That's not on the video. Well, it's eight o'clock in the morning. We just got done pouring. The truck's pulling up there to wash out. We just did this patio. We're gonna talk about when is the right time to start finishing concrete. So we got this back patio. We're gonna, we're gonna put some grooves in it by hand. And we're also gonna finish it smooth. So we'll talk about the timing. It's eight o'clock now. 
you can see we're just bull floating it so it's way way too early to start right now but we'll just keep checking it we'll come back in a half hour and check it. hey guys mike here so today we got this house slab we're doing about a 35 yard slab we got concrete mixing up right now it's about seven in the morning we're going to talk about when you start finishing concrete today so we'll keep track of the time after we get it poured and then we'll talk about you know when's the best time to start we got two finishes going on we got a power trial finish back here and then up front on this piece this is a broom finish so we got two different finishes going on so that should help you out trying to figure out when to start finishing all right so we got it all poured as you can see concrete drive is just washing out it's about 8 30 right now 8 30 in the morning and as you can see if you can if you can see this right here look see how wet that is so we gotta let that dry up, that's too wet to start finishing. So it's 10.20 right now, it's just about two hours after we got done pouring. We got done pouring at 8.30 and we're just starting the finishing process and really the only thing we're doing is just mag magging some edges. It's still a little too, too wet on the surface. Most of the bleed water is drying up but it's still leaving it a little bit slimy on top. But we can start magging the edges at least just to help flatten them out and fill in anything. So, but before we can get on it, we're going to have to let it dry up a little bit more. Okay, it's now 12 o'clock. It's noon time. You remember he got on this started power trial at about 11 o'clock. This is the fourth time he's gone over it and it's just about done. It's what we call right over here. We call that kind of blackened, shining out. That's done. So he's got just a couple other areas he might have to hit again for a fifth time real quick, but it's pretty much done. So we got done, remember we got done pouring the slab at 8.30. We started finishing right around 10.30 by hand a little bit. Got this broom finish thing done. And we didn't put the power trial on it until about 11 o'clock. And at 12 o'clock in one hour, it's all done, it's all power trial, so it dries. Once it starts drying, it goes really fast. So you really gotta know what you're doing. You gotta be prepared. That's where experience comes in. But hopefully this video will help you out a little bit with the timing, teach you a little bit about how fast this stuff dries, when to start. So it's, it's about an hour and 15 minutes after we started pouring, after we got the concrete floor poured. About an hour and 15 minutes. And we're just starting to mag the edges and see what that feels like. And the reason we mag the edges is we want to fill in any little holes or crevices, smooth out the surface a little bit, and make sure the floor is right even with the top of the wall. So I mean, we don't want to mag it, we don't want to wait too long because the concrete will be too hard. So we're just starting to see what it feels like here with the mag. If there's still too much bleed water on the surface, we can always stop and give it a few more minutes. If not, if it doesn't feel too bad, like right now, it doesn't look like it's too bad right there. We'll just keep going around, getting the edges all magged in before we have to stop power trialing. When it's hot like this, when it's 85 degrees out in the sun, you know, you gotta try to stay ahead of it. So anything you can do in advance of power trialing, you wanna get done and get it as good as you can. And then once you get the edges done good, then you can just get on it with a power trial and then come back and hit them again after that.
All right, so we got the ISO strip down. We got the styrofoam all down. We got the wire mesh all down. Now we're just going to cover her up with all the blankets. Keep it dry over the weekend. Keep it frost from getting there so we can get it poured Monday. So uh, check back in on you Monday.